hello there. Fancy meeting you here in my apartment. Why are you here? Well, since you stopped by, I figure now's as good a time as any to talk about bringing a kitchen kit on tour. Very excited. So there are so many items that you could bring. There's also a very basic kit that you could bring. So let's talk about your options. I love options. First things first, you need to figure out what kind of kitchen kit you want to pack. Personally, I was able to get by with a kitchen kit that everything fit inside this packing cube. I even got by with one that was half the size for a little while, so that did well for me. Other people like to have a big kit where they have an Instant Pot, a Vitamix, frying pans, a lot of cooking utensils, and a large variety of spices. There is no wrong answer as long as it actually works for you and you actually use it. Let's talk bags. Yep, I did it. Reusable bags. You'll want one or two. You need them for everything. Pack a reusable bag. You will also need some variety, whether it's a plastic bag or whether it's this reusable wrap. You will find a need that you're gonna need some baggies, whether they're Ziploc or otherwise. So definitely make sure that you have both a reusable tote and some type of disposable or reusable bag variety. What's that English? Thermos and water bottle. Pack them. Good talk. Okay, but actually really do pack a water bottle. Stay hydrated. Pack it in your daily theater go bag so that you have it at the airport, at the theater, when you get to the hotel, you're always gonna need it. I love you. There are videos that I could edit and not put in this, but <laughs> why? Why? Just be me. Also, bring a reusable straw. Save the earth. Do it. Pack one. Okay? Tupperware. Who doesn't love Tupperware? Here we are, we're on this journey together. Thank you for sticking with me. All right, Tupperware, it's great, you'll need it. You can also use it to put your small sharp things in or spices that might spill all over the place and make everything smell like paprika. Tupperware, get it today. Also very handy are having silverware. So I always packed two forks, two spoons, and two butter knives. Additionally, you're, I also always had a paring knife, so um, the one that I traveled with had a sheath to go over this so that I wasn't going to stab myself when I reached for it. Um, additionally, I also brought scissors because I found that no matter where I went, no hotel ever had scissors. So you've got dishes, you've got Tupperware. How are you going to clean them? You're going to bring some dish soap of your own variety, whatever you like, but I chose this because it can also double to serve you well in your laundry kit to get out stains. So that's why I chose Blue Dawn Dish Soap. I also travel a microfiber towel, so I can use this to wash dishes, I can use it to dry things, I can use it to wipe down counters. It's great, I love it. I would highly recommend bringing these two items. Okay, so how to pack your kitchen kit. So you have a few options. First of all, you very well could just throw it all inside your suitcase and call it a day. No packing cubes, no bins, no nothing, just throw it in there and see what happens. I wish you the best of luck. There are people out there that do that and they're doing just fine. However, I think we can make it a little easier for you. I got by just fine by throwing everything inside of this medium or large size packing cube. So if you're gonna use the packing cube, just make sure you have anything that could spill contained within a baggie. So that way, if something were to happen on the truck or in your trunk, <laughs> truck or trunk, that if anything were to spill, it's contained, you don't have to worry about it spilling through this. Alternatively, you could get yourself a bin like this, which is what I actually would recommend most if you're using a trunk. So this guy is about 16 quarts, and it's the Iris brand, which you can find at the container store or on amazon.com as well. Make sure you get one that is weather tight. So what that means is it's got a little rubber liner on the inside. This is gonna do a few things. First, it's gonna make sure that if anything is inside, um, if anything leaks, it's not gonna get out and get all over everything in your trunk. Second of all, it's actually gonna help when it's on the truck because the climate changes so drastically a lot when you're on tour. So you're gonna go from San Diego to Detroit in December, and those are two very different places with different climates. So the weather tight will actually help control the climate within your trunk and keep all your items nice and safe and happy. Another good tip that I have about 
touring and having a kitchen or not having a kitchen is to call ahead whether it's your hotel or whether it's your Airbnb really double check the amenities if you're checking into a hotel that says there should be a mini fridge it doesn't always mean there's gonna be a mini fridge so make sure you call ahead if that's something that you really want or if you're staying in a hotel with a kitchen ask if there's gonna be frying pans and spatulas and a coffee maker if not you can then ask the front desk to make sure that there's a coffee maker in your room but there are times like in Detroit where I had to go buy a coffee maker so that I could have it for the three weeks that they were that we were there and then I just left it for the hotel okay gang that's all the time that I have for kitchen tips so if you have any questions please feel free to reach out to fourthwallorganizing at gmail.com or you can visit fourthwallorganizing.org to find out more about kits like laundry kits maybe and see some photos and read some blogs I'm hysterical in my blogs so make sure that you read them oh boy this has gone too far I see that now okay bye